Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the quantity discount model. And the quantity discount model is making a decision uh, when uh, you want to order optimally but if you order different quantities you get a better deal and in this circumstance we don't just look at setup costs and holding costs we also have to consider our acquisition costs and so uh, in this case then let's look at uh, let's look at an example uh, of a type of question that you could get so you're a company you use 4,000 light bulbs per year that's D okay if you order one from from 1 to 499 they cost you 90 cents if you order 500 to 999 they cost you 85 cents and if you order uh, more than a thousand they cost you 80 cents so what is the optimal uh, order quantity in this circumstance you need to know that the setup cost is thirty dollars per order and the holding cost we're gonna make it a bit more complicated we're gonna make it holding cost uh, is equal to forty percent of purchase price so uh, in this case it's not a fixed number as we've seen in some of the other examples it's it's a percentage of the purchase price which just means you need to do one additional calculation when we're doing this it's nothing too complex uh, nothing to uh, to nothing too complex uh, and uh, and uh, uh, relatively straightforward so the first thing we do is we look at uh, for 80 cents I usually start at the at the high end of the volume for 80 cents the EOQ is equal to the square root of 2ds, right? There's no P, so there's no production quantity over H, which is equal to the square root of 2 times 4,000 times 30, which is our setup cost, divided by 0 0.32, which is equal to 0 0.4, the holding cost times 0 0.80 which is the acquisition price and we would then get 866 bulbs so what you notice is to get 80 to get the price of 80 cents we need to order at least a thousand and so the EOQ quantity is below a thousand so we have to uh, we have that complicates our life a little bit so let's then so, so it just means that in order to take advantage to take advantage of the 80 cent deal of over a thousand we would have to um, increase our holding costs it would reduce our setup costs but our overall total costs would go up and we have to see if that is positive or negative relative to uh, the uh, relative to the acquisition costs but let's do the next one here for 0 0.85 per unit the EOQ is equal to the square root of 2 times 4,000 times 30 divided by 0 0.34 our holding cost has gone up because our acquisition cost has gone up a little bit equals 840 units so if you remember that to get the 85 cents deal we have to order between 500 and 999 and in fact the optimal order quantity at that price is within that range so then we're happy we don't need to go to an edge solution either 500 or 999 so let's look at for 0 0.90 per unit uh, the EOQ is equal to the square root of 2 times 4,000 times 30 divided by 
0.36, which is now just the holding cost for the higher acquisition costs, is equal to 816. So the economic order quantity for 90 cents per unit is 816, which is sufficiently high to get them for 85 cents per unit. So we can now ignore this one. We can ignore it because uh, the optimal order quantity is actually big enough that it will get us the discount. So this one becomes mute moot and we and we move to that one so now what we need to do is compare the two relevant total costs and in this circumstance at 80 cents the economic order quantity was 866 which was too low so we have to evaluate the total cost at a thousand which is the only way we can get that discount so let's look at total cost for 840 units costing 85 cents which is that one is equal to 840 divided by 2 times 0.34, that's the holding cost, plus 4,000 divided by 840 times 30, which is setup cost, plus 0 0.85 times 4,000, which is how much it will cost us to buy them, acquisition costs. So, so we then look at the total cost for the, for the quantity discount, we look at the total cost as we compare it uh, uh, to a suboptimal uh, quantity which would be at 80 cents per unit. And so that will give us a number of 3,686 dollars and then if we compare that to the total cost at a thousand right because for this quantity for this quantity we had to order at least a thousand to get 80 uh, to get the 80 cent price the economic order quantity would have been 866 so we have to go off of the uh, optimal number and get a uh, uh, a thousand is equal to a thousand divided by two times 0.32 plus four thousand divided by a thousand times 30 which is the setup cost plus 0 0.80 times four thousand which is our acquisition costs is equal to three thousand four hundred and eighty dollars take the discount. So, uh, order a thousand every time. So in this case, what we do for the, for the, quant uh, for the uh, quantity discount model is we do an EOQ for each space of the discount. Look at if the economic ordered quantity is within the range of the quantity discount, uh, you would order that amount. Uh, in this case, for 90 cents, the economic order quantity at 90 cents was big enough that you would get the 85 cent discount so you could just ignore this one. That's often a trick question that we put in uh, for, uh, for students uh, to make sure they understand. And for the one where the economic order quantity did not meet the threshold, you then, which was this one, 866 was below that threshold. You then calculate the total cost at the minimum level to get the discount. And in this case, it made more sense to take the discount and order a thousand every time. Again, relatively straightforward. You just need to go through the steps in the right order. Good luck.